Hey everybody. Then I'm gonna show you guys the differences between the Windows Vista Media Center and Windows 7 Media Center. Here we're looking at the home theater system I have. Built out of parts. It has Windows Vista Media Center. Pretty basic computer. Go ahead and go over what's in Windows Media Center and Windows Vista. Now let's go ahead and access the main menu of Windows Media Center. Well, first, first thing I want to say is Windows Vista Media Center is basically a more beefed up version of what came in Windows XP Media Center 05. It's highly similar. The menus are similar. Just better graphics, more or less. Now let's go ahead and go through Windows Vista Media Center. Here for the TV tab, we have Netflix. This is a new addition that Windows XP did not have. We have recorded TV, live TV, guide, movies guide, internet TV, which this component here is a new addition to Windows Media Center. It was in introduced in Windows Vista. XP did not have it. We have the option to play DVD and the option to do a search. We go here to the sports tab which I'm not exactly sure what XP has in terms of this. I'm sure there's probably some newer updates from XP to Vista. We have an online media tab. Not exactly sure if XP has this or not. We have a program library and an option to explore online. For tasks we have our settings shut down, burn CD slash DVD, sync, add extender, and media only modes. Not exactly sure if Windows XP has extender support or not. It's been a while since I used it. But we do have the same typical settings for Windows XP. Basically the menus are highly similar from XP to Vista and Windows 7. The thing I want to touch on though is that Vista does not really have any good support for clear QAM and it does not have support for cable card technology. Vista is basically like I said before it's a slightly beefed up version of Windows XP Media Center 05. Now let's move on to Windows 7. Now I'm going to look at the Q Computer Mid Tower Deluxe Black Max Edition. It has Windows 7 Professional. 32 bit and we're going to go ahead and enter Media Center. So we can do a little comparison here. Here is the main menu interface in Windows 7 Media Center. And there is the interface in Windows Vista Media Center. Let me go ahead and stop the live TV so I can get a better comparison here. So basically right here is the Vista main menu get a better look here on this television and here is the main menu in Windows 7 notice here the way to design Windows 7 Media Center is to look somewhat like the Zoom MP3 player here is a TV tab we have recorded TV which I can't use a remote on this computer have to use a keyboard. We have the guide, internet TV, live TV, which is improved, and we have search, so it's similar to Windows Vista. Had the sports tab, which is on now, on later, scores, players, leagues, same stuff. Task is basically similar too. We have shutdown, settings, learn more, this is new, burn CD or DVD, sync, add extender, and media only. Now we have Extras, which is Extras Library, and Extras Gallery. And on Windows Vista, it's called Online Media. There's a change. Pictures and Videos, we have Picture Library, Play Favorites, and Video Library. Music, we have Music Library, Play Favorites, Radio, and Search. Back to Vista, let's look at that Music tab. 
we have more music, music library, play all, radio, and search. For pictures and videos, we have picture library, play all, and video library. So the play favorites is a new option in Windows 7. For movies, we have Netflix, Movie Library, Movie Guide, Search, and Play DVD. Back to Vista. And Vista is called TV Plus Movies, so it's all combined into one. So it's definitely a good improvement here to have movies and television separated. Now down to TV, we have Recorded TV, Guide, Internet TV, Live TV, and Search. Now, let's go, into, let's go exploring into the settings a little bit. In Windows 7, we have support for clear QAM. To set up the clear QAM is basically the same as setting up any TV signal. Here's the new thing about Windows 7. is like I said before, Vista don't have support for this. Windows 7 has support for cable card technology. Seeing that tuners are now evolving with cable card technology, Windows 7 has an option called Digital Cable Advisor. You basically run this tool and evaluate your computer whether it's compatible or not. And once it passes, you can use cable card technology, which is like with Time Warner, you have digital cable. You can get the advanced features that you, would, you normally wouldn't be able to get with like Windows Vista. We have some other stuff here. And like I said before, Windows 7 has better support for plugins. Vista has some plugins available, but I've been doing some research online and I found a whole bunch of extra plugins that are available for Windows 7 that aren't available for Vista. So, all in all, they're basically similar, but Windows 7 is more up to date in terms of its, of its technology and capabilities. So, basic thing what I'm getting at here is if you have Windows Vista, on your media center, it's definitely a good idea to upgrade to Windows 7. Not to mention that Windows 7 Media Center basically has the TV pack already installed, which is highly difficult to get into Vista. Windows 7 has the new .wtv format, which Vista is not compatible with. And I think WTV files don't take up as much space as DVR-MS files. That's just my opinion. Anyways, there's my quick opinions on Vista Media Center versus Windows 7 Media Center. Have any questions or comments or anything to add on? Feel free to comment.